Right, hello everybody and welcome down to Delamere Golf Club and welcome Peter Finch. We're well, thank you for that welcome Matthew, yeah. welcome to yourself. You know, I just extend the nice ones on here. We're down at Delamere Golf Club, this is part two of our match play. Peter's currently, I'll let you go and check out the video from part one, you will see the score there. He's now one up after you've watched that. We're on the uh, fourth hole, it's a par three, 212 yards going to this flag over there, we can't see the bottom of the green because it's guarded by a hump but uh it all falls in down towards the green yeah, i will presume middle of green five iron hopefully it draws oh. well middle... with the wind with the wind you can't actually hear it down here but it has been very windy lucky with the weather now let's watch a lovely swing i'll be hitting in a minute um Win. Win. That's okay, that'll feed in just to the side of the green. Win. You were actually aiming a little bit right there, Peter. Well, I mean, the wind at the end when that came in... Once that it was, lost its momentum. That was right over the bunker. And it moved, I would... I'd give it a good 15, 20 foot in the air right at the end. Right at the end. It went left very quickly. Right. Yeah, it did sell slightly right, so I was just aiming a bit there then, you think? Mm -hmm. Oh well. Tough all this one, though. I'm going the same, five iron. Oh, the irony, eerie. Oh, nice one. I tried, I do yeah. try. I try and often fail. Yeah. We know. We still support you, though. Thanks, man. Come on, Maddie. Much better. Come on, wind. Come on, wind. Yeah, nice shot. See what I mean about not hitting it? I cut mine a bit there. I just got it a bit cutty, but. All oh, right, yeah. okay. You shouldn't have said anything. Yeah. <laughs> so, Pete's just, just off the fringe there. Just off the green, sorry, on the fringe. He's got a bit of a slope to come over, and then the green falls back down to us. Sorry if you've got any wind noise at the moment. You can see, obviously, by the flag, it is. Very blustery. And in this halfway, I would think. Played it nicely, checked up. And a lovely shot. Just outside Putterland, so, you know. You know. I don't know, what do I know? You ain't having it. That's probably just outside of Gibbon Regiment. And that with a chance for a birdie. I'd say on this green, probably a, a little bit of an outside chance, really. Green is sloping severely downhill from where he is. I imagine it should also break off to the right-hand side, but as with all things in golf, you can never be too sure about anything. But that's probably what should happen. Come on, let's roll one out. Coming down the hill, is it going to break at all? What? I think that's still you, mate. Oh, I was going to swing loads. It should have. Well, off, like, listen, it can do whatever it wants. I mean, oh, yeah. it's only going to obey the laws of physics, but yeah. Physics? I thought that should have broke. Uh, I should have broke down there because your pull now is definitely downhill. Yeah. But maybe it's just from where you are, maybe it's not towards the hole. Could be that I've got one leg shorter than the other. Interesting. Know. So for a par, just to tidy up. This is where the game's won and lost in the grind here. Solid? Solid. Nearly, nearly gave you yours then. Almost. Everybody wants to see us put in though, you know. Whoever no, wants to see us polish off these two filters. Yeah. Nice lens cap marker. Is that the uh, limited edition range from uh, Lumix? No, yeah. Available in my merch store very soon. Fanjoy.com slash Peter Finch. Bet someone goes and checks that out. Hope so, and he's going to set it off, going. <laughs> 
the simplest of pots over Pete. Sneaks it in, <laughs> confidently. Well done, right, let's get on to the next. Great par four next, I love it. Very much so. Just falling off the back of the tee there. So the fifth hole, 450 yards. We're going out that way, just into the back of Pete. Um, up that way, and it turns a little bit left. There's a big dip at the end of the fairway. Yeah, let it drift back up there. You want to hit it out that way. Let it come round. Right. Beautiful shot there, Pete. It's just into the... Just into the, the semi. The wispy like, stuff. Again, I scrubbed that so well, it just didn't... They should have moved that. You know, when you hit it too well, you know, wind doesn't affect it. Yeah, well, if anyone tells you that, they're speaking a load of boo hickey. I mean, maybe there is something to it. Definitely those new Taylor Maples I'm using, they do not move as much. No they don't well. move in the wind. They move a bit, I mean, they're not, they're not magic, but. Did get over? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Now that is going to be quality. I'm not using that uh, pink 42 inch driver anymore. <laughs> uh, we all miss it deeply. I do not. Nice practice swing. Thank you. 166 yards. Yeah, it's going to go 9 9. Green's elevated. Quite downwind here, so. 9 9 straight, and it wind seems to have died actually a little bit. But I think we're uh, protected by the firs to our right and the gorse to our right. There. I'm expecting quite a good shot here. I've got a feeling. Oh, sorry to disappoint you. Leave it wind. Go, 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 go. That's not bad from that heavy clag. So, so. Bit uh, toey and high. So, so. Never mind, it'll be okay, Pete. I'll get up and down for that. Yes. Matthew's not very happy. Uh, his ball is not as good as he thought it would be. It is in the clag. It's dead. He's probably got a similar distance to me, and the lie is not very good. He'd have a better chance of getting to the green if he was hitting off the top of that pylon in the background. So he's just going to have a big old swing at this. Mosey on down, sorry for the glad we zoomed in. Mosey on down that hill. Advantage me. So 105 left in after that really dodgy light, and this doesn't look like a great light either, really. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm getting quite rewarded down this hole. This is a little bit of a ball really below my feet as well, though. Now come on. Mm. Don't let the negativity overwhelm you. I will just hit a nice little pitch. 52. Don't, swing. don't let that wave of Motion, yeah, that's the that's the one. That's the way. So heavy. Very heavy, that. Go on, run on. Hey, right. oh, stay, stay. Back all day. No, it's just clinging on. The... Yeah, again, a heavy light. I was unlucky that. Yeah. Well, we it's all right. I'm, I'm all right with it. Right, so we've got up to the green. Pete's just on the fringe. He's got yeah. a little bit of a tear to go up here and then onto the flag. I'm just next to him. I've got to be honest, normally I'll push this, but I'm trying out this lob wedge. So I just want to play it top tier. Little spinny one, and then it'll just release down to the hole. Come on. Nipped it too much, Peter. Oh, yeah, loaded so with well. spin. There might be a break here for me. Well, uh, I'm still in a match. I should have pulled that. Yeah, come on, Pete. Don't go too easy on me. Hello. That is looking as black as death. That sky looks horrendous over there. 
and it's filled with a lot of rain. So if mine's got to come up and over the tear, uh, my ball shouldn't be in the way there. So this for a uh, extraordinary par, this manages to go in. That's got to go quite a bit. Oh, it tandem him up this hole. It's uh, not been my best so far. Uh, surely. Some guys behind, so I'll not just have a Surely. And Pete's got a, uh, about an 18 footer for par. 18? Seriously, I'm so happy you weren't an architect. I know. Your buildings would have been mashed up, man. Why? How far is that? This is a good 20 odd foot. 20 odd foot, sorry. Yet again, I prescribed it wrong. So, this for the par. Forgot he was in a match when he was chipping with a lobbage. Hello. Oh! That was tough. Tough break there, bro. <laughs> Take it, you can have that one. That looked good all the way, that. It did. So, this for a half. Somehow. Get the flag in preparation. Oh, I'll tell him here for this one. So this for an unlikely half. Not likely, chopping not up all the long grass on this hole. Just helping the greenkeepers out. Ugh. Horrendous, horrendous lift out. Thanks for that one. Right on the sixth hole, it's 148 yards, it's a par three. Going down to the green there. Pete's now two up after that uh, spread of rubbishness I just did on the last. It wasn't a great hole from either, was it? I've got a wedge, I'm going to go. You've got wedge, 148, I think. Yeah, I think it's downwind down, anyway. Oh, yeah, I thought it was in two. <laughs> My bad. Therein lies the root of one of the issues today. Hmm. Just left of the green, if it fades round a bit more, it's the end of the world. That'll be good. That is all over it. Great shot. There you go. Golf shot, buddy. Hey, every now and again, <laughs> I'll produce one. 140, I've got eight iron. Yeah, that was a. I struck it well, but I think a wedge is uh, is probably the core. Lovely divot that as well. This is the Divot Appreciation Society. Mm. I mean, a divot doesn't really tell you everything. It, a divot lies, really, in some cases, but that's a good-looking divot. Nice, clean, mm. targeted. Nice and straight, nice and shallow. Yeah, I really appreciate that one. I like that one. Let's have a look at some other famous divots. <laughs> Right, I need to win this hole because I don't like being down. No, you don't. You don't need to do anything like that. All you need to do is be yourself. Be yourself, that's enough, buddy. Oh, we spinned it. Right at the centre of the green. Where's that gone? Um, you pitched a couple of times on the green and rolled off the back, you know. <sighs> It's all gone Pete Tong. Oh, awkward. Yeah. Chip in. Oh, interesting. It's only just off the back. Crept Li off. Literally just crept off. I've got a decent chance for a bird there. That's probably the best chance for a birdie I've had apart from the par five, really. Yeah. So I hope they can hold the putt. Just a wee bit on the high side and the heavy side. Damn it. I feel Damn it, I've got mine. What about? <laughs> you see that, Michael? I know. Jordan, I didn't. I don't know what your crazy ramblings are about, Spieth. Just hit the ball forwards, will you? Just hit the ball and get me some money. Yeah. I need more. A 10 mil ain't enough. 
Welcome to the ramblings of two professionals down at Delamere. So six hole, this is for a birdie for Pete and to go into the final part three up. Hmm. How yeah. things have changed. It's gonna move left, it's gonna go half a lunch. That's good. So you know. If I go right edge. Right edge firm. So to end the part. Three up. Oh, that swung a lot. Swingy, swingy, Pooge, you can have that one, sir. Swing low, damn. Swing high, swing low. Hey, Sweet that, chariot. Hey, that relatively firm as well, wasn't it? That's a soft putt. Given. <laughs> oh, man, you're funny. Kind. You know how funny? Because you're always joking, right? <laughs> God damn. Damn, 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 damn. See that, Michael? Oh, Michael. Michael. Oh, gosh. Golly. <laughs> yeah, we've been there. Uh... Well, we, we've had an array of terrible accents today. Mm. We've not just been sticking to one. I think we're losing our marbles, finally. It's happened. So this to, to the home. This to keep it at two. Looks more straight down the slope from here. If yeah, very good. Solid nice up and, up and down, down, bud. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for Delamere as well for letting us come down. Mm. The course has been absolutely fantastic. We've Gorgeous. got three more holes to go. I think that rain's going to miss us as well, which is awesome. Mm. If you haven't already, go and check out Peter's channel. You'll find the link in the description down below. It's really also, good. You should do. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Probably one of my favourites. Really? Um, no, I don't like Rick here. One, don't like Rick here. One of the favourite YouTube channels with <laughs> Peter Finch Golf on the title. Yeah. Um, remember to subscribe to all our social medias and uh, see you in part three. Hopefully I can win it back.